Uh, Paul and Chris, take a look at this. Mm. Oh, yeah, there we are. Yes, the magnificent idiot Trump. Uh, that's Bill with his wandering hands. This is... Uh, <laughs> that's probably our emails. Uh, that's Julian Assange, uh, who's become a burglar, uh, not very successfully. So Donald Trump, American prisoners, he still keeps going. Uh, he's losing lots of votes now as it becomes more and more obvious what, what he's like. So that's basically it, isn't it? That's basically yeah. it, yeah. yes. The, the US uh, election, as it struggles to an unedifying climax... Yes. Um, I've experienced a few of those. Um, <laughs> the final debate was off on Wednesday and the whole electoral process was summed up by one American commentator. This is a very sad night for the country. Um, you can't polish this turd. This is... I'm sorry. You cannot... Technically, you cannot polish any turd. <laughs> <laughs> How did the debate kick off? With a right hook. Well, <laughs> no handshake. No, well, no. well, you don't want him touching you, do you? <laughs> 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 That's you can avoid it. <laughs> it's the sort of thing that most women wouldn't volunteer for. <laughs> Trump said he's not going to accept the verdict uh, yes. not, unless he wins. He said, I would like to promise and pledge to all my voters and supporters and to all of the people in the United States that I will totally accept the results of this great and historic <laughs> presidential election, if I, I win. win. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else has Trump whinged about, according to Hillary? The Grammys. Yes. He lost the Grammys, cos they're rigged too, apparently. Yes. Absolutely. Sure well, let's have a little look, shall we? There was even a time when... He didn't get an Emmy for his TV program three years in a row, and he started tweeting that the Emmys were rigged again. Should have gotten it. <laughs> <laughs> Who did Trump invite to sit in the front row and make Hillary feel weird? Was it Putin? <laughs> no. Barack's half-brother. Yes, it? indeed, that's yeah. right. He doesn't like his brother, the president. Uh, do you know why? Sibling rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it kind of amounts to that. I mean, he, he, Malik Obama told ITV, Barack has this attitude like, ooh, I'm the president. That is brilliant. And says to me, what have you done? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but to be fair, though, he is the president. Is, yes, yes. <laughs> what rule did Trump try and impose on last night's debate? No sense. <laughs> no facts. Um, he thought Hillary was on some kind of performance-enhancing oh, drug drugs test. last time. Drugs test. So, yes, he tried to insist they both be drug-tested. Uh, he'd have tested positive for spray mount. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a pity that Hillary is such a terrible candidate. Um, anybody else would have won by now. <laughs> 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 and if Michelle Obama was standing, it'd all be over. Yeah, all over. Yeah. You got the wrong president's wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is the US election and the third presidential debate. One of the latest allegations of Trump's misogyny came from a former Swedish supermodel who said at a White House dinner in 1993, he was so sexist, I had to switch tables. Unfortunately for her, she ended up next to Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> it's been revealed that Hillary Clinton's code name used by her Secret Service protection team is Evergreen, whereas if someone attacks Donald Trump, his code name will be Nevermind. <laughs> <laughs> Comparing the work of their respective charities, Hillary Clinton declared that the Trump Foundation took money from other people and bought a six-foot portrait of Donald. Apparently, it's very realistic. The hands seem to follow you around the room. 